hello guys in this video we are going to see how we can create a microsoft azure rdp for free so this video is totally based on microsoft azure portal or microsoft students azure subscription so if you haven't watched my previous videos please do watch it uh, in that videos i have uh, explained how you can create uh, edu mail for free and through which we can activate microsoft azure portal for students so let me open my browser so you can see i have already logged in to my microsoft azure portal and if you want to know how to create this microsoft azure portal by using edu email then please do follow my channel uh, already i have posted a video uh, regarding this on how to create microsoft azure student portal but soon i will be posting a new method or new video uh, in which i have explained how you can create a microsoft azure student portal so please do follow my channel so let's see how we can create uh, let us see the subscription first so you can see here i have only azure for students subscription and the subscription is active and i don't have any other subscription so let's go to home and let's see how we can create an azure rdp here so now you can click here virtual machines so here you can see no virtual machines to display now just click create and you can just click this option azure virtual machine So here you can see this we don't have an uh, resource group over here so we will just click create new and we will enter a name over here you can choose any name so i have given this name and now just click okay now virtual machine name uh, you can give your own name i am giving byte ideas and region uh, you can select any region over here uh so here i am going with uh central india uh, you can select any option and leave these options as it is now just image image you can select uh, windows 10 or windows version because i am going with windows uh, you can choose any option so here you can see we are getting two uh, cpus and 8 gb of memory so you can see over here uh, this is the uh, resource group and virtual machine name is this and region i have selected india or you can select these options also east us these options uh, let us select these options because uh, these are better when we use the rdp so let us select uh, east us and you can see now uh, here we will select windows 10 pro so it is available over here image so don't change anything over here what you can do is uh, now you can see this is two cpus and 8 gb of memory don't change anything over here now username you have to enter your username and password so again we have to enter the password so after entering the password and username and don't change anything over here uh, region must be uh, east us or uh, you can select other option also but when we use rdp uh, us region is preferred so now just scroll down and don't change anything over here and now just click here review plus create now just click here so validation field following tabs 
uh, required information is missing or not so let's go to basic step and now just check this box okay now just click here preview plus create so it is loading so you can see validation is passed now just scroll down uh, you can see all the details over here of your rdp so now just scroll down and click here create so you can see here our deployment is started and our rdp is being created so let us wait for some time So you can see here deployment is in progress. So our deployment is completed. Now let's go to the resource. Just click here. You can ignore this uh, message. Uh, it is not uh, much important. So if you want, you can also refresh the page. And now uh, let me try to log in. So search for a remote desktop connection. Like this, you have to search. Now just open this and just copy the public IP address which is uh, given in the dashboard so now just enter it and paste it over here and now you should enter your username and password which we have given while creating our RTP so just enter your username and password and after that you can click OK so just click here yes and you can see our RDP is connecting so let us wait so you can see our RDP is being successfully connected and it is uh, loading because it is first time Just untick all these options, they are not necessary. So at first it will be little slower, but uh, let's uh, accept this. So now you can see, we have successfully created our Windows 10 RDP for free. So. Let's refresh the page. So you can see we have successfully created our Windows 10 Pro RDP for free. 
and if you want you can also check the uh, system settings or properties of this PC so you can see our RAM is 8 GB and uh, this is Windows 10 and everything you can see here edition is Windows 10 Pro and everything is perfect over here and we have successfully created our RDP for free and if you don't know how to create this RDP please do follow my channel soon I am going to post a video on how to create Azure portal with a new method and uh, there is one more way to connect this RDP now just click here connect click here connect and just click here native RDP select now just scroll down and download an open RDP file now just click here download RDP file so you can see our download is complete just open this so you can just paste it in the uh, desktop so we can easily access it now just minimize this now just uh, double click here and click here connect So now here you can enter your password which we have given earlier while creating the RDP portal. Now just click here OK. Click here Yes. So you can see here our RDP is successfully connected. So you can use any way to connect to the RDP but this one is easier so in this way we can create RDP for free so just click here ok uh, so and soon I am going to post a video how we can create Microsoft Azure student portal and there is already a video regarding this uh, so please do watch it I will be giving the video link in the description and i button so we'll see you in the next video thank you